we have our faraway planet and it's kind of a um, little bit boring default color so let's work a little bit more on this i'm going to internal network right here for our planet and this is our planet 2 and let's rework a couple things on a shape so right here um, mostly what I'm going to do is work probably with the modify a little bit on the colors okay and the summer displacement let's do it this way we'll just make it a little bit kind of brown dark color something to add and again matching a little bit with the rings maybe um, effect so let's go add contrast and the contrast will help us to add just between elements so we'll kind of start having those patches showing in the places let's also pop up roughness okay um, next inside the displacement okay we have it all just leave it as default let's go inside it with noise and right here instead perlins I want to use it permanent pillows. So it will create those kind of clubby effect looking. Again, remember this is far away planet. We want to have it a very dramatic change of shape because we do not modify the displacement amplitude. If we want it, we need to increase this quite a bit dramatically size. So that way we will change the shapes a little bit more and you can see right here just slightly so if you want to do that way you can increase that will you see right here already in render we have it quite a bit but again because size of the planet i'm maybe just increase by amount of 10 so just add one more zero to see some effect but not that much and again when we add atmosphere over some clouds it will cover some of this so if you want it go ahead do it this it's, it can make more interesting but it's not necessary and we'll just leave it rest as default um i imagine i want to add some atmosphere to this and we already have it one but right here i want to add clouds let's go to atmosphere and we can go and select clouds and add again right here we have it planet 2 atmosphere we can add from this point or we actually can go inside the atmosphere click and add cloud layer and next what we need to do just connect this cloud layer inside remember we inside internal network for our planet so if we're going back to node view this will be invisible but they will be connecting and you notice right here as we connect we have our cloud layer so let's go inside our cloud properties and work on them first we'll work on a cloud layer and we'll kind of probably will jump between both of them see what's going on uh, right here we have an altitude and it's going down but because i increase a little bit of the displacement i want to bring those clouds a little bit higher so let's go take and bring them just slightly up in altitude the depth same i want more depth on this and reason is why because the depth will create stronger clouds um, when you work far away distance i found sometimes it's work a little bit better and we also take the age and uh, bring way down will make much smoother the more embedded together the density and you know what let's pop up a little bit on coverage so i want to have a strong cloud cover almost like it's a gas giant but you can rework as you're going forward with this okay we'll leave it color lighting let's go leave it as default okay um we could come back after in quality and increase but far away in grain it should be just fine Okay, we'll look on a function okay let's go now and open inside the density for this so feature scale this is maybe a little bit too small this is again for the our fractal and we'll want to increase this and because this is far away from the distance we want to increase the quite a bit 
as well. Let's pop up our scale. Um, small scale, I'll just put it 200. We don't need too much details on that one. Inside the noise, I want to switch from Perlin to my ridges. This is, will create very interesting kind of liney type clouds. Overall, write these properties. You don't need follow. This is very um, open. You can select and modify, play around, see which one clouds you like it. I'm just overall adding this kind of color distant mass to this planet to create this kind of more um, unique look in this way. Okay, so right here I can see some clouds, maybe a little bit too large. So let's reduce them and pop up a little bit more on the um, density. Okay, and then it's normal what we do. We'll just create some playing around, see which one is working. Okay, right here we'll go back to the clouds. Okay, let's bring altitude a little bit up. Bring density. Take cover down. I don't want to spend too much time to working on these um, clouds. Okay, just a little bit down right here. I see where they're going. Okay, just bring them in. And how I said before, it's just something to add effect. Um, however, you could um, go and modify a little bit more on a color and some other properties to see if it's how it will work, if it's work better for you or okay, you know, let's bring slightly closer so not to overwhelm. And one more thing, so actually right here I'll notice we have our shader ring. And like I said before, sometimes I'm going and will play a little bit more with this. So I just want to bring the color on both of them just a little bit less saturated. Okay, let's go preview. Okay, you can see we have some grainy. The effect also this pop up because displacement on a planet and it's by the 10, so it's bring quite a bit way high. Um, we could take two things. We can go inside the atmosphere. Okay, right here. On these clouds and we can increase this altitude even higher to bring this way up. Okay, let's take this down. Write these feature scales. Let's increase a thousand. Okay, this is a one way to do it. Okay, let's take contrast down. And we also can go inside the objects, planet two. And when we have a displacement, okay, so let's go to network right here. So when we're done, we can take this down as before. So this is will smooth planet. So we won't have it, this angle pop up. We also increase a little bit atmosphere. And I maybe just take even atmosphere more down because I don't want to overwhelm atmosphere this on a planet. And right now it's kind of look interesting, but look too patchy. So I may take this atmosphere and bring way, way down. So just add a small effect, but not too heavy effect. And also fix some of those um, grainy kind of. Right here, right here. Let's take H down, density way down. And at zero, that should work. Okay, so right here I can see I have a kind of like small effect, but I think this is work much better right now at this point. Okay, 
again we'll see with this planet because um with atmospheres remember this uh, kind of look yellowish but when we start adding atmosphere we add a cyan color and when i start working i'm kind of looking on the colors as well so i want cyan sky, uh, sky and i want kind of like reddish landscape so they will kind of match very interesting together um, i may go back and change some of these colors on the planet but again as we're going forward um, we'll go change and right here rings you can see we have a different density on our rings and slightly different colors so they kind of come up more interesting this way okay so let's stop on this point and then next we'll start working on the terrain materials so let's apply those colors and some surface materials to our terrain 